Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I am here today to show you uh, my new um, blowover setup that I uh, created just a couple days ago uh, for the Super Speedway races. And um, basically all I need to do is just copy the setup, setup that I have here. I think this is probably the easiest one to use that I've created so far. I made about what three and hit and ask for heat four, but I think this is probably the best one I made. The car could be a little um hard to handle, but it seems to be kind of smooth in the corners, and uh, it it gets airborne very easily. I'll show you guys in a second here, but just give you guys enough time to copy down the setup. Well, so there, are, you can't really blow over by yourself. Unless you like hit the wall awkwardly, but you can get airborne. So let me just show you um, how the car handles just by itself. Be ready. Get after it now. Get and, after um, it now. You're clear. How it crashes by itself. So we'll go through turns three and four. The car is very stable, surprisingly. You see the right front in the ground, kind of. Go down the front straight away. It, it turns to the left by itself a little bit. Which honestly is fine by me because um, it's better than turning to the right like what I always have to deal with. If you turn right to a little bit, it won't. See, it reacts a little differently, but just don't um, don't jerk the car to the right, or else that's bad. You see how it shakes just a little bit. That's why it says it's a little hard to handle, but for the most part, it's very drivable. Now to show you what the car can do, go down here and hook it to the right. Look at it just lift. So as you can see, it has no problem getting airborne whatsoever. So now we're going to go into a race, and we're going to try to cause a couple crashes. We could try in the back stretch if we can just clear these guys. Okay, this Still is good. There. Look ahead for me. So you clear don't want to go too far down. And turn to the right. Well then. That was not a blowover, because we got hit. And not we didn't get hit the correct way, but um, that was some um, hang time right there. That's what, about four seconds in the air. That's pretty. That's pretty good for a car. All right, uh, be smart we'll try it there. again. Going we'll try green. on the back stretch again. Ready. Yeah, he's got really good straightaway speed. Hang oh boy! There, yeah, you gotta, you gotta be careful when he turns Bottom to the right. Three. Use it if you need it. He's got one up top. It, it, it works very well on the bottom, but once you get to the middle outside lane, it can get a little Careful, tricky. Still there. Ooh, boy. Go to inside the wide. Stay low, stay low. Okay, this Two is a good five. enough car. So we're going to do it on the back me. stretch. Clear outside. Outside. By Hopefully himself. I don't mess it up, even though this is very easy Tracks to do. all yours, bud. You're clear. We'll stay behind Joey Gaze. We'll lift a little bit so we're not too far ahead. And then we'll come down here and to the right we go. And wow. I mean, I mean, wow. <laughs> Got hardly any damage too. And, uh, wow, that was that was pretty good. Pretty good. If I do say so myself. Well, yeah, well, that, that's basically it. I mean, like, it, you, you see how easy it is to um, get the car airborne. All you have to do is just go on the apron a little bit, turn it to the right, and uh, you're airborne. Assuming you uh, get hit the right way, or else you're just going to get a little airborne, but that's about it. But yeah, that, that yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, that's one way to end the video.